it's an eye opener to be honest because you in your life you only see the good things you don't really see the bad things i'm not saying this is bad but it's not what we used to and to come here and to see each kids with a massive smile on their face just looking at me and sebi we're only two normal people and we've lit, we actually made that day and this it changes everything um because it opened up your eyes to see how they live I'm not saying that it's like wrong or anything but um it's, you can actually do more to help them this thing of it when you think you're struggling it's not that bad if, compared to what they've been through and they're happy with everything that they have with the minimal things that they have it's amazing to see how happy they are so um, at first if you think of it um every try that we score we can literally change someone's arm life and through the season it just if you think of it Instead of going for a penalty kick, why don't go for a try? Because you know you will be able to get points. And that point isn't just for you, but it's for someone else's life that you can change for a life-changing surgery. And that also played a big part of it, if you think of it. Um, yeah, instead, and we make the game more interesting. Yeah, so yeah. go score tries, not go for penalty kicks. And then yeah. on the sideline, the Vodacom is donating money for yeah. a foundation to help kids. So. Laugh because you were pissed off the occasion, yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely, <laughs> this is probably what's like his own kicks in. Yeah, like you know, it's for the, it's for the bigger cause. Should, should you have a, maybe like penalty kicks for smiles, maybe? Or yeah. I think in the future, definitely. But I think all teams need to buy into that because yeah. um, that'll be awesome. But I think just for every for every point that's been scored in a game, um, we need to donate money. Not just Vodacom, but I think most people must buy into it. It's a, this this foundation can help a lot of kids around South Africa. Not just one kid here or there, um, it can help a lot of people. I think more and more people should um, participate in this. Yeah. We've changed a uh, little boy's life, you yeah. know his name. And then when we went into his classroom to go meet him, shame the kid's smile. He actually didn't want to come up to the front because I had to give him a jersey and say be a rugby ball. He didn't actually want to come up to us. He yeah. was a bit too shocked as I can imagine. Seven years old. but. After that, when he warmed up, oh, it was just a lovely kid. It was, it was really nice to see his class, his friends. Oh, it was just amazing. It's something else to see. It changed, it opened up my eyes to think when I, when I think my life stuff, I just need to put myself in their shoes because they're so happy with the minimal things that they have. Yeah. Where we sometimes get annoyed, oh, my, my PlayStation isn't working for instance. They don't even have that. They're happy with. When I gave the kid that rugby ball, his, his, day, just, his day just lit up. And to see how happy they are about just the small things is something that we need to, that we actually tend to forget, that we focus on more of the bigger things that isn't necessary. We start with the small things. And these kids, they actually like, when they think we change their life, they actually change our life. Because now I want to be more, take more part in things like this to save, not save them, but to help them. So they don't go down the wrong path of life, so they can go on the right path of life. And then that's how they also change me. It's a, it's a lovely experience. Definitely if you're a kid, play sports, enjoy it. Go out there, don't get um, pushed into a corner as long as you enjoy yourself, just go out. Also focusing on school. <laughs> but if you do play sports, go out and enjoy yourself. And for the fans, um, I know we didn't have the best season this year, but definitely next year is going to be a lot better. And just please just stay with us. Um, we're going to turn it around and we're going to bring the Super super Acme back home. It's been a tough year, but everything's going to be sorted out next year. So, And thanks for always being there and thank you for being loyal to us. And then the corporate people, um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not a big part of that, but um, I know you guys sponsor us and so on. I just want to say thank you for that. And also, if it's possible, get more um, involved with this with the Smile Foundation and where we can help other people instead of just helping ourselves. Because in world, in life it goes, you just try out the person next to you and then you'll be happy as well. So that's what I'll go for. <laughs> we think it's quite important to have this type of interactions because we score the trials and kids get to, you know, a better their lives in terms of getting surgery. But I think the follow through, the follow up is the most important part because now he comes back into society and he, he's looking a little bit different. And obviously with, with um, kids being kids, you know, they're going to make fun of him. So for us to be here and able to share um, how important it is for him to, to be treated like a hero because he survived something so tragic. And for us, uh, his hero is to come and he literally like lift him up and show community or the society that he's just one of us and so he shouldn't be treated any different. I think that's why it's important to so that he's accepted socially within the community and within the school and the space.
Nah, it's amazing. Um, it gets to me every single time. You can never get used to it, no matter how many times it happens. Uh, you go, I go to the hood quite a lot. I go to the ghetto quite a lot and try to do stuff like this a, a, a lot of times because I understand what it is. Um, it's, it's a message of hope, and that's, that's all we all need to actually go forward in life. I understand because I was in a situation, and all I needed was just you know a glimpse of cheese. He made it, so I can. So that little hope can take you far, and, and that's what we're literally trying to do, just trying to give them hope, um, and make them smile, you know, tell them that they can, you know, just give them a little bit of inspiration. Once they get something like that, then, you know, it can take them further in life, and that's, that's what we want. It's important to help kids, man. Kids are the next generation. If you don't help the kids now, then how, how's the future as a country going to look? And most people, most people don't have it easy. Um, there's a lot of people that have very difficult upbringing, so it's, it's difficult to, to stay positive when, when things are looking like that way. You're only going to be a product of environment. So it's important for us um, all around to keep on reminding people that you're not a product of environment, you're a product of your choices. And if you make the right choices every time, then you will become the person that you want to be. And us being here, that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to you know, reiterate the fact that you're a product of a choice and bearing the choices that you make you can be anything that you want in life. Um, my message would be to dream big. Um, when you come from an environment like this, it's very difficult for you to, you know, think you can go up beyond what you see in everyday life. So my, my important is to is to dream and have a vision. Uh, once you have that then you've you've put the seed to actually, you know, not literally get out, but you will see to, to get out the situation. And that's what's important. Yeah, if you can't see it, you won't be it. So just dream, dream hard and dream big and don't think small because anyone can do it. You have two arms, two legs just like everyone else, one brain, so you can.